Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Let It Die. In the previous episode I went over the uh, consequences of uh, dying in uh, Let It Die and the options you have to uh, recover your fighter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back on this fighter and check out the uh, blueprint I've uh, had, uh, picked up. I identify it at the store. And then we'll go straight back to those floors where we died and uh, try and make some, uh, some progress uh, discovering them. Now, when you visit a floor, you can always see the, um, the, uh, the next floors. You can see uh, the routes up to the next floor and whether or not there's a lock on the door um, to go up. So take uh, Tamata for instance, we've uh, discovered Tamata, we've been on that floor, so we've uh, just entering the floor we'll discover the uh, color of the escalators leading up to the next floors and uh, whether or not there's a lock on this side. Now, if there's a lock on the floor on the other side, we won't see until we uh, reach that floor. These charts. Awesome. So this cost for near plank and iron scraps. Should I make that? Uh, I don't. I don't really want to. I'll upgrade the metal bat though. I don't want to spend any veneer planks on the uh, robber crossbow. The reason for this being I don't know many um, wood-only material type floors and I'm going to be needing veneer plank to uh, upgrade uh, another weapon that I'm planning to use on this uh, playthrough. I'll go ahead and upgrade the uh, DIY attack coat though. Let's take a look. And I need one more piece of waste oil to get the uh, attack head upgraded. Well, the oil-only floors I know of are much higher up in the tower so I could check out floor 2, uh, see if I can find a piece of oil over there. Well, this is going to take 7 minutes to upgrade those, and I believe I'll be able to upgrade them one more level afterwards. So, while you're upgrading your equipment, you can see at the bottom of the screen which level they were, and the level you're going to bring them to. So, uh, the, the metal bat is moving from uh, plus 2 to plus 3 now. Uh, your equipment can be upgraded in four stages. Uh, you can have your uh, the gear unlocked, which is stage zero. The uh, bustle knuckles are in stage zero right now. The uh, metal bat at stage two. The DIY attack head at stage three. And it goes to plus four, and then you can uh, upgrade it to the next um, to the next star of uh, of quality. So uh, yeah, I'll be interested to see what material types the DIY attack head will cost upgrading it to past plus four. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, damn, I have to, uh, forgot to sell the uh, silver shroom. Welcome back. Let's sell that. And I think I'm gonna have to buy some uh, some weapons so I can deal with the enemies. Gonna buy one of those. And that should maybe do it. Although, um, yeah. No, I think I'll buy uh, the armor. I've got enough kill coins to, uh, to spend here. So, we'll go ahead and armor up. Equip all of the weapons. There we go. And we're set. Can we to uh, level up this time? Something I forgot to do last time. There we go. 
Our character is now at the maximum level and will no longer gain uh, experience from kills. So we have five in every stat, and uh, that's the uh, that's the amount of stats a uh, one-star fighter will have. So we're at level 25, which is the uh, maximum for uh, that we can obtain at this point in the game. Mm, yeah, I have to deposit some of these materials in the bank, so it makes space to pick up new materials. A big part of the uh, Let It Die experience is uh, prepping for uh, prepping for different things, uh, prepping for uh, Tokyo Death Metro raids, prepping to uh, just climb the tower, uh, or taking out uh, bosses. Always want to make sure you've got some uh, healthy weapons to, and armor to take with you, and. Uh, You've got some uh, bag spaces to pick up resources, maybe some healing items. So we're going to Wanoki, making some uh, progress on the side area there. From Ikigara, uh, I think I'll take the elevator this time. Oh no, that's right. I have to. Uh, I'd like to check out the other floor instead. Um, the uh, other second floor has uh, a variety of different materials, so uh, I want to try and get a um, a uh, oil type material from there. What's it called? Waste oil? Yeah, waste oil. So if we head to our uh, left, our character's left. The escalator is right here. There's certain part, there's certain aspects to floors which will never change. Like uh, the layout of floors uh, changes every time you go uh, up into the Tower of Barbs, but uh, quite often the elevator tile, the elevator room, will be um, will be in a very uh, specific spot. Like for uh, floor three. The first mid boss, it will be right next to the boss, and uh, that'll never change. It'll be there every time. Another healing item. Boom. I think I'll prioritize using some of my more. Uh, Durability uh, weak weapons. Weapons that are almost broken anyway, so I'll get those uh, out of my inventory. Clear up some space. Something to bear in mind while using uh, weapons is uh, the rage move, which I can't do right now because I don't have. Uh, I've got zero rage. The rage move takes up uh, takes uh, cost durability to use as well as rage, so weapons will lose a lot of durability while using the rage move. So it's a good way. It's a good way to finish off uh, a weapon uh, that's almost broken by uh, spending its uh, its last bit of durability on a rage move. But when I see this uh, bustle uh, bustle weapon, I kind of want to spend its last. Uh, Sliver of durability uh, using its rage move. And I'm actually going to do that, so I'm just going to set that up. Pick up some cotton, and uh, lucky we found the oil uh, I'm required to level this uh, DIY attack hat up to its uh, plus four. Let's cook this so we can get free rage out of it instead of one. There we go. A blueprint we already know, the metal bat, not picking that up. They do sell for some uh, cash though, so... There we go. Using uh, the rage moves on these weapons. Takes their health down completely. 
Whoops. Some collateral damage right there. <clears throat> Good amount of cotton. Now, when you're collecting materials, uh, you can kind of go, uh, you can kind of go uh, completely wild on collecting materials. I'd like to keep um, a good amount in the bank, like uh, ten of each type. You uh you get a stun on enemies when you uh when you fall on them from uh from an elevation. Uh isn't there a hate on here somewhere? Oh there it is. Uh Yotoyama hater. Come on then. Damn. I'm not going to bother picking that up. Take the mushroom though. Pick up the other uh, resources we've uh, left around. Are there any resources? Go check. Okay. Uh, there's some more waste oil. And uh, aluminium. So that's good. Those are resources I'm, uh, I'm needing a lot of lately. Good ones. Scraps. Okay, bags full. That was quite a lucrative floor, actually. Frog agrees. So I'm gonna head back early to the waiting room to drop all this stuff off. Now, uh, this is one of the reasons it's um, it's really beneficial to have uh, the other fighter classes available to us. I'm in the process of resetting a, um, a hater that I've uh, stolen from someone in uh, Tokyo Death Metro. And it's the, uh, the uh, tutorial hater, so I'm definitely going to get that reset. And they are, um, they are a collector class. So what's special about the collector class is uh, that they've got much more uh, death bag space. I mean, they've got double the normal death bag space. So then I'd be able to stay in the tower for much longer collecting materials before having to uh, return to drop it all off. Okay, click this thing. Store these materials. So, uh, 33 out of the 80 slots are already filled. So it's really imperative that you uh, upgrade the bank as, uh, as often as you can. Those are upgrading nicely. Get the uh, DIY attack code to plus four and the attack head also plus four. Got the materials to get the metal bat also to plus four. These will take uh, 10 minutes to complete. And it's possible that's going to be the maximum upgrade level that we're going to be able to achieve for now. But we'll have to see. Now it looks like I've got enough spilithium to upgrade my fighter freezer. That's definitely something to take note of. Uh, 
Uh, no. Wrong button. Don't need to raid. Uh, waiting room. Buying equipment. Okay, so we can increase all of these. Uh, the Spliffium, the Kill Coins, and the Fighter Freezer. Now, I'd say uh, save up your Spliffium to increase the Fighter Freezer. I want to get this thing maxed out as early as possible. There we go, it costs 2000 Spliffium. Almost all of it. And uh, it'll take half an hour to upgrade. Uh, now, as with most things in the game, you can expedite this process by uh, clicking on it again. Uh, they'll ask you to spend uh, death medals to uh, to make it uh, upgrade instantly, and uh, yeah, there's no point really to do that because uh, we don't have the uh, spliffium required to upgrade it again. <coughs> so in half an hour, we will go from being able to have three fighters to having a fourth slot for uh, fighters. Yeah, that's good news. Mm, I think I've got enough gear to uh, survive climbing the tower again. Although I may want to level up my other character instead. So I'm going to drop this gear on the floor. There we go. I'm going to leave that there for now. <coughs> uh, grilled mushroom. A grilled crush room, put that in a bank. And now I'm gonna swap my fighters. I'm gonna go with Marjorie. <clears throat> now, uh, what I'm doing now is not the safest uh, things. I've heard people have mm, disconnected from the game uh, while in their waiting room, so you know this might not be a good idea to drop all your stuff and then uh, pick it up on another character, but uh, I find it pretty easy to do. Uh, if you're swapping characters and you want to trade out, uh, want to gear them up with the, the gear you're wearing, Pretty uh, pretty quick way of doing it, and I don't I don't think I've ever disconnected from uh, from Let It Die while I'm in the waiting room. Okay, here we go. Equip uh, the uh, metal bat. Uh, oh, I already equipped that. Okay, good, good to go. We've got some experience to level up, so I'll do that. Uh, luck. Increases the amount of kill coins the enemies drop, and also the amount of kill coins you get from treasure chests. Okay, now I'm gonna try and make some really quick progress through uh, Wanoki to the next floors. I'm gonna see how far I can get. I'm gonna check all of the treasure chests, but I'm gonna leave um, and leave most of the materials behind that I find. So uh, the way floor one is uh, has its layout is uh, the elevator, the green elevator, uh, well escalator, the green escalator up uh, is always next to the uh, elevator, and the gold uh, escalator up is always in the alternative uh, route. So this is where the floor splits up. The uh, yeah. Looks like I chose the right way to go. Uh, just gonna show the tile where where the first floor splits. Yeah, this is the one. And you see this tile and the uh, the boxes that are blocking the way. Either of these two routes is gonna lead you to the elevator uh, escalator you need to be. It'll be either that way, or you'll be going this way. 
and in this case it's this way. You can run past all the enemies in the game. Like there's no there's no requirement to defeat them. You can uh, you can escape combat completely by uh, taking the escalators. Of course, if you're sprinting, you have to watch out uh, when taking escalators, escaping fights, because you will do a jump kick instead of uh, activating the uh, escalator. You might get yourself cornered. I'll be running through well, most of the level, trying to ignore enemies, just checking for uh, resources. I mean, uh, not resources, uh, blueprints. Uh, if you're new to the game, I don't recommend this. Blueprint. Get out of the way, you. Yep, that's good coins. Off we go. Time to get through the floor ASAP. So I can make some progress. Out of the way. Ooh, interesting. It's like a higher level armor. Wait. Stop breaking my gear. Those multi-hit weapons are uh, are devastating on your armor. Definitely don't want to get caught up in the uh, vessel or the uh, red hot irons. Put up another lovely. Wow, I'm training a, a huge number of enemies with really. me. The uh, aggro range on enemies is limited. They do tend to reset after uh, running a certain distance, uh, or at least um, if you stay ahead of the enemies, you can eventually have them uh, return to their uh, spawn points. Kami Ikidoi. Okay. This is a pretty good floor to uh, to visit. It's a uh, all material floor. Every type of material available. Yoga shroom. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. It increases your. Uh, it's a uh, slow heal and uh, rage bar uh, filling mushroom. I strike a, a fun pose. Okay, I actually need those for requests. Aluminium scraps. Uh, this is a really short floor. That will lead us. This is a uh, this is actually a good way of getting back to the main um, the main uh, route. We'll have to see if the um, if it's going to be locked gates or not. And there's a uh, there's a third floor uh, stamp machine that I was missing. I don't think this floor is available every day. Okay, so if you want to pause the game, uh, you press uh, the start menu and direct health service. Getting into this menu will actually pause the time in the game and make uh, that you can go AFK, get some coffee, do whatever. 
uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, see you all in the next one.